We've just been talking about getting customers in a physical channel, but what's really interesting is most startups kind of forget that it's much more expensive to get a customer than it is to keep one. Yet, we seem to go from order to order or user to user forgetting about thinking about over time is how can we extract more dollars or usage or whatever's important to us from our existing customers. How we do that is the first thing we need to do is make sure our existing customers we've just gotten don't go away. And so if you're in business long enough, you start thinking about how to keep customers. Some examples? Well, the airlines are the perfect examples of keeping customers. They run something called the loyalty programs. They give you points, they give you rewards, etc. for staying with their airline. Credit card companies. Boy, they love to keep you using their credit card because, you know what, it's just a piece of plastic and they're loaning you money. Anybody could do that, but they want your business full time. So they'll make up programs and, you know, things that make you think about, oh, it would be terrible to leave this credit card to this airline because I lose all the points. That's a great example of a loyalty program. Or product updates. Here's a way to keep me loyal is instead of just this one-time purchase, I'm getting these updates or newsletters or something useful through the lifetime of the product. And smart companies who not only do loyalty and product updates, sometimes just send me newsletters and here's what's going on and here's whatever and how can we help you, etc. Even though on day one you're not thinking about keeping customers because you're desperately worried about getting them, just understand the next thing you're going to be doing is worrying about how to keep your most valuable customers.